Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Lavrov uh, made, again, some statements. I think they are close to reality, and his statements are that uh, the masters of Ukraine, which he calls uh, others than Zelensky, which he also he calls just a puppet, uh, they don't want peace. All these uh, peace uh, so-called negotiations or peace talks um, are not peace talks, according to Lavrov but just a tactical ploy to buy time again for the Ukrainians to rearm and regroup. This is according to Lavrov. So I have an article from Russia today where he says two things. The, these guys don't want peace yet. And a second one is uh, if a peace negotiation will be you know, in the future, that would not be with Zelensky since, according to Lavrov, uh, is just a puppet of the United States of America he calls them their masters. So let's uh, start this uh, article that comes from Russia Today. Western calls for Ukraine peace talks a tactical ploy, uh, he says. The West wants time for Kiev to rearm, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov has said. The US and its allies do not want the Ukraine conflict to end and their purported peace initiatives are merely attempts to buy Kiev time, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said in an interview published on Saturday. Geopolitical issues need to be discussed, and I'm quoting, not with Zelensky, who is a puppet in the hands of the West, but directly with his masters, end quote. Lavrov said earlier this year, negotiating directly with the Americans would make sense, he told the magazine International Affairs when asked about the idea. The, and I'm quoting, the problem, however, is that the United States has no intention of ending the conflict, Lavrov explained, noting that, and I'm quoting, their officially declared objective is to inflict a strategic defeat on Russia, end quote. I cover that statement uh, coming from the Americans, and that's what they said. Uh, we don't want to. We just want to inflict a strategical. That means what? Weaken them, and then what? Take over Red Rover. Prospects of negotiations between Russia and the West, and I'm quoting, are non-existent at this stage. And quote Lavrov said, while Kiev, and I'm quoting again, Western sponsors are constantly pushing them to up the ante. So just to continue what they do best. Insisting on Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky's so-called peace formula at meetings in Copenhagen and Jeddah, to which Russia was not invited, and I'm quoting, hardly demonstrates an intention by the West to negotiate with Russia, Lavrov said. Moscow has dismissed Zelensky's 10-point list of demands as an unacceptable ultimatum unrelated to reality. Well, I made a video on all those uh, 10 points and I think they are very general. Uh, let's put them, uh, uh, let's call them inclusive. That is, uh, uh, should be peace, but hey, the details are who uh, makes the peace, on whose terms. That's the most important. We all want peace, but the terms are the problem here and wherever you have an, uh, an argument with someone. Um, the other thing is, uh, he talks in things like change, defense, protect, protection, but it, it sounds like an ultimatum because in an argument with someone or a you know, fight, you have uh, both sides showing up and discussing their proposals. It's not like one side comes with a list and say, this is the list. You don't, uh, you don't uh, do what I'm telling you, you don't agree with my list, bye bye, no peace. What does that mean? It sounds like an ultimatum. It sounds like one because it, it is one and the funniest thing is funny if it wouldn't be so uh, uh sad uh because it's uh, a lot of people are dying is that the ukrainians are not in a position to dictate to anyone anyone either the west or russia that's the problem and they still play this card because of the us's uh support because it's the us through these guys so what else let's uh, see what else is in this article. Uh, Russia has repeatedly tried to negotiate from the 2014 and 2015 Minsk agreements to the, and I'm quoting, drastic attempt to convey our concerns to Western capitals, uh, and quote, in December 21, Lavrov noted. And I agree with that. 
I, I was very aware of what was going on over there and the Americans and NATO said, beat it. We don't want to talk to you. I ask your security concerns. You should not have any security concerns because we're good people. You got that? All right, then you should believe us because we tell you so. Uh, like we told you in 1991 with NATO expansion eastward, no one inch eastward. We're not going to go uh, towards you with NATO. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, the Russians want just, you know, legal binding documents that will say, you know, these are the uh, security guarantees that we receive and so on. And this guy said no. Well, um, the West, and I'm quoting, arrogantly rejected Moscow's initiative and ramped up deliveries of weapons and ammunition to Kiev instead. And I'm quoting uh, Lavrov again. We regard, let me put it like this, we regard the Westerners' hypocritical calls for talks as a tactical ploy to buy time once again, like the Minsk 1 and Minsk 2 agreements, giving the exhausted Ukrainian troops a respite, uh, a respite and the opportunity to regroup and to send in more weapons and ammunition, end quote. Lavrov said, adding that, and I'm quoting, this is the path of war, not a peaceful settlement process, end quote. Angela Merkel, the former chancellor of Germany, admitted last December that the 2015 Franco-German proposal in Minsk, in Minsk was, and I'm quoting, an attempt to give Ukraine time, uh, and, end quote, to build up its military. This was the confirmed, this was then confirmed by the former French President Francois Hollande. I covered those in uh, one or two videos. So, first, I, uh, it's good to talk, but you know, uh, uh, actions uh, speak louder than words. So, yes, you call them uh, puppets, you say, yes, yeah, the Americans are in charge and all that. What are you going to do about it? Well, he said, we're not going to stop. We're not going to talk to anybody. I mean, we. Uh, I'm, talking about, uh, I'm talking about what the Russians said before. They're open to negotiate, but not as a diktat. Because one of the Russians' issue with the Americans, especially, and with the Western countries, was that they were not treated, as the Russians uh, demand, and I think they deserve, as equals. And they said, we're not your... Uh, vassal states here those are your vassal states talking to the united states of america and here lavrov comes and says you know what uh, they just buy want to buy time like they did with minsk agreements at least you know lavrov uh, knows exactly what time it is and uh, who sets the time thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just